Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to an estate sale. I am so excited. This is my first estate sale of the year. So if you enjoy that kind of content, hit like and subscribe down below, hit the notification bell so that you know every time that I post. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, just finished up at that estate sale. I ended up with 10 items. They had their clothing priced at a dollar a piece, and I was like, absolutely yes. So I got nine pieces of clothing and then a really cute little uh, mushroom print 1970s little. I call it a paddle. I don't really know what it's for. I know people used to hang them in their kitchen. Maybe it's a cutting board, like a small cutting board. I'm not sure, but I got it because it had mushrooms on it and it's the perfect like bright 70s color palette. So of course I couldn't say no. Now we're gonna head home and I'm gonna show you guys what I ended up bringing home. So hope you enjoy. This estate sale is only a few minutes away from my fiance Josh's house. And at Josh's house, Mr. Wigglesworth is there. So we're just gonna go by and see the purebred chonker nug and see how he's doing. Give him some head scratches and maybe a little treat. And then I'll head home and show you guys the haul. <gasps> what are you doing? Is that a good boy? Hello! Give me just a second. You ready to go outside? Wait. Wait. Go. There he is. He's that mommy's good boy. He's that mommy's good boy. Go get the ball. Come on. Here we go. Oh, oh, I see. Oh. Are you tired? Oh, goodness. Is it tough being a purebred corn dog? Give. 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 Good boy. booty booty all right guys so we are back at the house and i'm going to show you what i ended up picking up from that estate sale i ended up getting 10 items for 10 dollars and i got nine pieces of clothing and one hard good so we'll start out with the hard good i got this 1970s little mid -cent not mid-century modern maybe it is mid-century modern it is a mushroom flower bird print little uh, tray type deal, little board. I've seen these hanging in kitchens. That's how I know them. They like hang on the wall as like a little more of an art piece than a usable item, but could not help myself. This is absolutely gorgeous. And I will probably keep this for personal use unless for some reason it's worth a lot of money. I just think it's so cute and it matches my favorite like color aesthetic and stuff like that. So we got this. Also, by the way, if you notice that my finger is looking a bit intense, I slammed it in a door. That's a whole other story, but just know that I don't have like some incurable disease or something like that. I just slammed my finger in a door and now we're paying the consequences. But 
I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm able to work. So it's all good. Next item we have is a Christmas piece. I cannot say no to a tacky vintage Christmas sweater or sweatshirt. These are my absolute favorite things in the world to thrift. This is probably one of those handmade kits or whatever from the 90s, late 80s, early 90s, but it's on a Fruit of the Loom tag. I just... I can't say no, it's so cute. And if I'm not able to sell it, I will for sure keep it for myself because it's my size, oversized and whatnot. But I love it, I think it's so cute. The next piece that I got is a 100% silk, fully beaded, fully sequined evening jacket. It has so many beautiful beads on it. It's just unreal. Right here we have hidden hook and loop for just a seamless kind of elegant kind of fit. I thought maybe by the looks of it that this was from the night from the 80s, but it's actually dated from 1994. It's Papel Boutique Evening and here is the whole front and then the whole back. Next up we have a very colorful artsy just work of art pretty much jacket from the 90s. I love the detail alone on the button, but just the fact that it's full on embroidered applique. I mean, we've got rainbows, we've got a colorful city. It's gorgeous. Whoever this lady was, whoever's estate this was that I was at, this girl had taste. This is absolutely up my alley and something that I absolutely love to thrift and love to sell. Next up, a little Christmas number because y'all know I can't say no to anything Christmas. We have a 3D Christmas sweater tank top. Now, keep in mind, these items have not been washed. They have not been treated. So there are some spots, but considering that these were only a dollar and it was an estate sale, so I was helping a family move out some of their loved one's clothing, I was happy to take the time to treat these items since I only got a few things, but absolutely adorable. Next up, we have a cardigan by Laura Ashley. This looks like something inconspicuous until you see the sleeve. My goodness. I mean, if you need some bling, I've got some for you. But just a cute little, it has wool in it. It's actually 24% wool. The rest is acrylic and polyester, but a very quality piece. Definitely very out there. If you're going to do it, do it. Next up, we have an Icelandic Designs little wool cardigan kind of jacket number. This one's just very delicate, very, I don't know, I love it. But it is wool, and surprisingly, considering how these items were stored, there were no holes or anything in these garments, which honestly surprised me because moths and whatever other creatures like to eat clothing love natural fibers like wool. So happy that this ended up not having any issues. I just need to treat it for a couple of stains and we're good to go. Next up, another piece that I believe is from the 80s. This is a gold satin little tie shirt. Back is plain by Kibnoff. I'm probably absolutely butchering that name. But I think I have figured out that this top goes along with this shirt. So let me give you a close up of the top. It's like an accordion style kind of tank top. It has a lot of give, but we'll pair them together. Oh yeah, these for sure. I believe go together. Perfect match. This is so 80s. <laughs> it will look perfect with like a black pencil skirt or something like that. And then last but not least, I have this absolutely precious dress from the 1970s. This is a maxi length baby blue dress with a little shawl with a collar. Absolutely precious. I'm assuming that this was maybe worn for a wedding, maybe an evening gown, but I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. It's that good old classic double polyester and it's just gonna look so good on the mannequin. More than likely somebody around here would not have picked this item up and I just can't imagine this wasting away in the landfill. Well, technically it wouldn't waste away in the landfill because it's polyester and polyester doesn't break down like natural fibers, so. All right, guys, that is absolutely everything that I got from the estate sale today. I am so excited for yard sale, garage sale, estate sale, all of the sales season. I don't really enjoy warm weather, but 
I do enjoy getting to thrift and yard sale and see what items I can save from going to the landfill. If you enjoy that kind of content, hit like and subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell so that you can see every time that I post. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.